Hi, I'm Henry from Wild Birds Unlimited in Danvers, Massachusetts, and today we we're going to talk about Oriole feeders. We've had a lot of people lately who've had success with Oriole feeders, um, so we just wanted to give you a quick overview on Oriole feeders. Generally speaking, Orioles really like grape jelly, and that's your best bet to attract them early on. Um, they are attracted to orange, so we do like this feeder because of the color. And uh, this particular feeder, you would spear an orange that you cut in half on this little nail, and then it has two dishes in it. Initially, I would probably start out with grape jelly in both of the dishes, but uh, once you get the Oriole coming, I would consider having grape jelly in one dish and then the mealworms in the other dish. So we have a lot of options. If you don't love the bright orange, you could use something like this right here. This is made out of copper and you would cut the orange in half and it would uh, basically just stick on these corkscrews and then you could put the grape jelly or the mealworms in this dish. Uh, there are also little feeders like this here where you would put a solution similar to the hummingbird solution inside of the feeder and then you can spear an orange on this rod and these divots right here are meant for grape jelly. Um, there's another feeder if you happen to have a one inch diameter pole. This right here will jam on to our one inch pole. These leaves that have this spine down it, if you cut the orange in half, they'll sit in here well. And then again, the grape jelly and the oranges in the dish. The big challenge with the Orioles is that often they kind of ignore the feeder. So it literally could take a couple of years of putting the feeder out to attract them. But most people find once they get them, they come back year after year. So thank you, and we hope to see you in the store. If you have any questions, uh, just give us a call. It's 978-774-9819. Thank you.